so for today, I'm going to take a ride around Lewiston, and I'm going to try some, try and find some historical uh, places that have to do with the Underground Railroad. Lewiston was pretty much the end of the Underground Railroad back in the early to mid 1800s where the slaves came north and ended up between here and Niagara Falls, different places, but this was one of the, the final stops where they would get on a boat across the river to freedom into Canada. And there is a, uh, there's a memorial here, a really nice memorial down by the, by the river called the Freedom Memorial. We'll check that out. But I'm also going to check out a, uh, a local church here that's I think more of a museum today than it is a church. It's a Presbyterian church. Uh, I was in it years ago on a tour. On a, on a, it was actually a Halloween tour, a ghost walk tour, put on by a, a local author who does annual ghost walk tours of the region around Halloween and I learned a lot about Lewiston. That had to be, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 years ago. I went because my son, who's maybe in his early teens at the time, was kind of interested in the paranormal stuff. <laughs> and I thought he would enjoy it. And he did. Particularly the, uh, the places where the stories focused on folklore and, and hauntings. There's some buildings in Lewiston that are that have some legends and haunting stories. But he also gave us a history of, of the town itself, including um, learning all about the Underground Railroad and, and, and what it was to this community, community. And I rather enjoyed that. Um, one thing about this, the history of this town, it was a very close-knit community uh, the people did not talk to strangers for the simple reason that any of the strangers could have been slave catchers, the bounty hunters that came north to uh, return slaves to their, their owners. And uh, so a lot of people in this community built hidden basements and, and rooms and sub-basements and second and third basements uh, to help hide uh, people trying to escape the South and, and help them get to Canada. Or get to what is now known as Canada, across the river, to freedom. Because the bounty hunters could not cross that river. Interesting history here in Lewiston. Um, the town itself, I think, was incorporated around 1822. Prior to that, it was known as just known as the Landing. Now, this is another church. There's some history here too. Is this the one? Oh yeah. Okay. That one. That's a bigger one. There is a smaller one here in town. That's more of a museum. And I think it. Yes, it's right here. This may have been the original church, but this was the one we had the tour of. Okay, doesn't look like it's open, but it's now, yes, it's called the Lewiston Museum. Ah. But I know in the basement of that church they showed us the hiding cubby holes where they hid uh, mostly children, I believe, because they were really small. But I'm going to go over to that the other church. There's something in particular I'm going to try and find there. When I get there, we'll see if I can find it.
Maybe there's parking around the other side. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more often, get to know this town. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. But there's something in there I want to try and find. to look for a grave that's marked with a simple name that says friend. I'm told there there are some in here. Too new. And I don't know if there's another section. Hmm. I know the Tryon family. Uh, they had one of the most famous houses down by the river. That, depending on which history article you read, it's referred to as four basement, seven basement, nine basement home <laughs> with multiple hiding basements. See a lot of these markers here, you can't read what's on them. It's just a stone. Well, there's some engraving. can't read them. So these are really old, some of these. <sighs> I don't know if that says friend. That could be a T or an F and a D. Read the rest of it. Yeah. If any of those had said friend, and the reason for using the name friend on the grave marker was so that bounty hunters wouldn't know who they are and they, they just can't bring back anybody. So that was to hide the identity of, of any of the escaped slaves that, that died along the way or died here before they made it, it was to protect their remains. Time to move on. A lot of those small, those small grave markers, you cannot read what was once carved into them. And the ones you can are newer.
That's the Moore Memorial right there. Let's go have a look at it. So the Freedom Crossing Monument. It was here along the Niagara River in the mid-1800s that enslaved African Americans from the southern United States first saw Canada, known as the Promised Land, the place where they could live free forever. Local volunteers led by Josiah Tryon. And that was that big headstone we saw over at the, uh, at the church. Uh, helped the freedom seekers by transporting them across the river by rowboat. And this is quite the, uh, the monument. Wow, isn't that something? The detail in this work is amazing. Pointing to freedom. So usually what happened back then was uh, at night, they would get into boats and be taken across to freedom. But they really weren't seen, it was too dark. No electricity back then. <laughs> and no customs to clear. Canada was not quite yet a country. No homeland security, no border pro customs, border protection, police. Just an escape from the bounty hunters. Oh, here we go. So the sculptor is Susan Geisler. Wow. And it was dedicated October 14th, 2009 by the Historical Association of Lewiston Incorporated. This is beautiful. Even though the water looks relatively calm, underneath it's it's fairly swift flowing. See, we're about seven miles downriver from Niagara Falls. So all the water that's going over Niagara Falls, which, which is a lot, is flowing down this river. So yes, you could probably swim in it, but there's, there's probably times and areas where there's an undertow, you'd have to be careful. I don't know if they, they'll really allow swimming. Um, there could be areas that they might. I haven't seen anybody swim here. Fishing, yes. Beautiful river. And maybe another day, will probably be next year, uh, I could come and shoot a video on the, the Niagara jet boats, big powerful boats that go way up the river to the Whirlpool Rapids, where it is very dangerous to be in the water. These are big jet boats, 1500 horsepower, they go they can go 55 miles an hour on here. And uh, the main location is on the Canadian side down towards the end of the river, but they're, they have a, a depot here 
people to get on the boats. They take you out, spin you around, and take you up the river, give you the history of the Niagara Gorge. You can't see it from here so much, but that's a, uh, an escarpment. So at the top of those trees where that monument is, it doesn't go down the other side. So the river, as it bends around there, um, once you're inside there, that's the gorge, Niagara Gorge, about seven miles to Niagara Falls. About 12,000, 12,500 years ago, the falls were right here. And it's taken that long to go seven miles, carving out the, the gorge. And some history, the Battle of Queenston Heights, the first battle of, of the war. That's the War of 1812. American losses, 90 killed, approximately 1,000 captured. British losses from the Canadian side, 130 killed, or wounded or missing. So that was the, the battle where at that time, I guess, the Americans wanted to take control of the Canadian side of the river. They were not successful. And I don't think it was so much due to the British on the Canadian side. I think it was more with the, uh, the Iroquois and the Seneca Nation. Indian nation that were helping to fight that, that war. And I'm glad there hasn't been another war since between Canada and the United States. And, I mean, I'm originally from Canada, and the United States kicked our butts big time. <laughs> So that's about it. Really nice day for a ride, mid 50s. I think I'll uh, take a little ride out in the country and enjoy the rest of the day. Just tried to do a little history today. And that's it, so thank you everybody. Take care.